Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is fifth lecture of this segmentary series. And in this lecture, we are going to study about point updates. Now, what is a point update? In segmentary, uh, when you are given an array and you are asked to perform some queries like find minimum, find maximum, or some of range or something like that, then there may be points update. That is, the array may change or there is there may be a query to change an element at certain index x so suppose there is a query of type 2 uh, sorry u 2 2 that is u stands for update and 2 2 that is sec at index 2 replace the element by minus 2 so at index 2 currently we are having an element that is 5 and now we have to replace 5 with minus 2 so if I replace 5 with minus 2, what are the nodes that are going to be affected in the segmentary? Because the whole segmentary is not going to be changed. The reason, see, this node, uh, this node and the whole node below that uh, store the result for range 4 to 6. Now 4 to 6 is this. Since the element is not changed in this range, none of the nodes of none of these nodes would be affected. The only nodes that would be affected, I'll tell you how many nodes are there. So since a uh, second index was changed, so of course range 2 2 would be changed. Range 2 2 directly indicates second element. All the leave elements that is 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 4 5 5 and 6 6. All the leave and element represent directly an element from the array. Now since the update was made at index 2 so the range 2 2 would get uh, would get updated now since this range 1 2 depends on range 2 2 so this node would also get affected but remember this would not be affected now since range 1 3 depends upon these two nodes or basically range 1 3 calculates result from these two uh, so and since this node is changed Hence, this would be updated as well. Now, since this keeps the result from uh, of range one to six, and it calculates its result from its uh, two children, and one of the children is has been updated, so it would also change. Even though the result won't change, but this node uh, would also be affected. So only these are the nodes which would get affected. So you see, there are not more than log n nodes which would be changed. Since each time when you made an update, you are going up uh, one height above the tree, uh, up the tree. So you are going here one height above, then above, and then above. This is actually the total height of a tree, and height of a segment tree is log n. So that is why there won't be more than log n nodes which would change so each update can be done in log n time now it was only a graphical representation that uh, how the update will uh, will occur let's have a look at uh, the code now what would happen from the main function uh, first of all this is an update function which takes four argument first one is first three uh, arguments you are already familiar with from previous lectures si is the index of the node since this is nothing but uh, even though the representation looks like a tree but it is actually uh, an array this is first element of array this is second third then fourth fifth sixth seventh eight nine tenth and eleventh uh, these are actually uh, elements of an array named segmentary so this is the index of that node so this one is having uh, index one so this is index of the node this is the range of which answer this node contains so uh, for node one it would be one six so segment start would be one segment end would be six and this is query index so query index would be two in this case because we have to update index two so this takes four argument segment index segment start segment end and query index so from main function you would make a dfs call uh, sorry you would make a call to update function with index 1 that is you would pass root and then root keeps the result from 1 to n so you would pass 1 and n as segment start and segment end and then query index to be 2 
now we would see uh, if segment start is equals to segment end which means whether we are on the leaf node or not if you are on the leaf node then leaf node contains uh, that index directly or uh, that leaf node directly represent one element from the array so now if you are on the leaf node you would directly update the segment tree because this would change uh, at second index now we are having minus 2 not 5 so you would direct update the segment tree so SI of segment tree would be updated to SS that is segment start or query index of array when SS is equals to SE that is at that point you would be on 2 2 and 2 is also the query index so you can either write query index segment start or segment end so this way uh, in segment tree this node would get updated if you are on the leaf node you would direct update the segment tree otherwise if you are on non leaf node like this you would see whether you have to update the left subtree or the light, uh, right subtree uh, depending upon that you would either update the left node that is le uh, 2 into SI or the right node that is 2 into SI plus 1 after you have updated either the left or the right then what you would do uh, you would update current node so either up you have updated left or right since one of the node has changed so you have to update yourself as well so after you have made changes to one of your nodes or one of your children either left or right you would update your result so segmentary of SI would be minimum of uh, left node or right node so let me tell you how it would work so for this update you would make a uh, make an update call to one node one indicates the root node which keeps the result from one to six that is one to n and query index is two because we have to update the second node now uh, we would check whether segment start is equals to segment end since segment start and segment are uh, segment end are not same what you would do you would calculate the mid which would be si plus ss divided by two sorry ss plus se that, that is segment start plus segment and divide by 2 so 7 divided by 2 would be 3 so if the query index lies to the left that then it would be less than equals to mid since mid is 3 and query index is 2 since query index is less than equals to 3 so we would update the left child so we would move on to here which is having index 2 and it keeps the result from 1 to mid so uh, basically segment start to mid so uh, previously segment start was 1 and mid was 3 so we, uh, segment start would be 1 and mid would be 3 so, so now we are at node 2 which is having SS and SE as 1 3 and query index won't change so we made a DFS oh, sorry we made a update call to left node with segment start would be segment start and up to mid left node represent start to mid and right node represent mid plus one to end since we are making a call to left so uh, segment start would be segment start and segment end would be mid now so now we are currently at this node again we would check whether segment start is equals to segment end segment start is one segment end is three so they are not equal we would again calculate mid mid would be two so start to 2 that is 1 to 2 is its left child and 3 to 3 is its right child so we would check whether we have to update left node or right node so we check 2 is less than equals to 2 yes so we again would update the left child so we would make again call to left child that is 2 times si si of this was 2 so 2 times si would be 4 so we are at 4 with si and se as sorry ss and se as 1 2 which represents its range and query index is still 2 now the uh, since segment start is not equal to segment and again so we would calculate mid mid would be 1 plus 3 divided by 2 which is 1 so is 2 less than equals to 1 that is false so we don't have uh, we don't have to update the left child as you can see left is having a range 1 1 we don't have to update 1 1 we have to update 2 2 so we would make a dfs uh, update call to right node the right node uh, is having an index of 2 into si plus 1 and then uh, it keeps the range from mid plus 1 to segment end that is why say we are passing mid plus 1 
and SE and then query index would be same. So from here we would move on to here which is having an index 9 and then SS and SE are having 2 2 and query index is also 2. Finally when you would reach the leaf node you would see segment start segment end and query index all would be same. That is why I can update it with either SS, SE or QI. Once your uh, SS is equals to SE which indicates you are on leaf node you would update the uh, the array segment tree which is having seg uh, index as SI so SI of ST would be equal to that element in the array so it would be updated to minus 2 now the work has done you would return so you would return you would uh, reach this node again because this was the node which made made a call to this node so we would return from here to here now this call for this node has done now we would uh, come to this line and this line says take the minimum of left and the right child and save it to your index or basically update your your uh, position in the array segmentary so you take the left child and the right child 1 and minus 2 minimum of 1 and minus 2 is minus 2 so in segment tree you would update it to minus 2 so segment uh, segment index of segment tree is equals to minimum of left and right child now this has done now you would return to the node who made a call to you so you would return to this node now this node would again do uh, perform this line which says take the left uh, left value and the right value which is minus 2 and 2 and then update yourself so minimum of minus 2 and 2 is minus 2 so you would update it to minus 2 and you would uh, return from here to this node this node again does it uh, what it does it takes the left and the right child the value of left and the right child and then updates itself now minimum of minus 2 and minus 3 is minus 3 so it would again be minus 3 and nothing would change from here you would get back to main function so you see this is how you update so first of all update takes four arguments segment index segment start and segment end and then query index if segment start is equals to segment end which indicates you are on the leaf node so whenever you are in the leaf you node you would update the segment tree from the array input array so that is why segment tree is being updated from the array after that you would return because there are no childs to update so you would return uh, if segment start and segment end are, are not equal that means you are not on the leaf node but you are on a parent node so you would calculate mid and you would see whether the element that needs to be updated is on the left side or the right side if query index is less than equals to mid which means that uh, the, the array index that needs to be updated is on the left side so the index of the left side as already explained in lecture 1 or 2 is 2 into SI and which contains the values from SS to mid and query index won't change otherwise it would be the right node and the index of right node is 2 into SI plus 1 which keeps re uh, result from mid plus 1 to segment end and query index still doesn't change after updating either the right or the left node you have to update yourself as well to update yourself what you would do you take the minimum of left or right child and update yourself this is how point update works in segmentary in the next lecture i'll be taking uh, a problem from hacker earth which uses point update and uh, some query i guess so if you have any suggestions suggestions are always welcome and till the next video drops just Keep coding and keep learning. Thank you.